So now we're here on board of the Bavaria yacht C46 with COO Norbert Liefeld. And there's nobody better to talk to us a little bit about the yacht, the brand, and the systems installed on board. So first off, I heard that this is an award-winning yacht, the C46. Yeah, it's uh, the Yacht of the Year 2024. Uh, it's uh, the second boat in, I guess, three years uh, who wants this award, and we are really proud of this product, and but also the, the other sailboats we have at the moment. I think it's the, the best lineup we had in years in, in Bavaria. I saw that you guys are celebrating what they call a, a double anniversary, that it's 45 years of making sailboats, mm -hmm. and then 25 since you started a motor yacht line. Yeah. I was curious hearing that, you know, obviously that's the trajectory many yards take, but what was it that happened 25 years ago where Bavaria made that switch, and well, not a switch, but an addition to the lineup? Well, I think it was uh, back in the days a mixture of, of a lot of things. Uh, uh, but the main driven thing, for, for sure, there was a big experience in, in boating at this time. And when the co-founder decided to say, okay, let's, let's do power boats also, it was a demand from the market, it was questions from the dealers. And uh, it, I think it turned out really well. And when you see the development of the power boats over the last 25 years, uh, they started with the BMB, um, they started, they come over to uh, BMW Design Works Design in 2007, 2008, and later on with the Marco Casali's 2 design. I think there's a great development. And I wonder, because of course, your initial sailing expertise transferred into getting that motor yacht line started in the right way. Is there any of the expertise that you gained while working on the motor yachts that then transferred back to the sailing lineup and helped make improvements or modernizations? We, we learn from each other. Technology-wise, uh, production side, it's, it's a very close connection, but the concepts and the design, they are different, so it's very different. And I know that there's a, there's a lot of overlap in terms of the kinds of systems that you can have on board, whether it's you know air conditioning or the pumps mm -hmm. and the electronics. But I wonder in particular, I know that this yacht, for example, has a lot of equipment from B&G installed mm -hmm. on board. Yeah, yeah. And I know that obviously they're part of a group that has far-reaching mm -hmm. products that can be installed everywhere from the engine room to the sure. helm station yeah. downstairs. And if you could talk a little bit about your process in selecting partners for these kinds mm -hmm. of products. For us or for the whole industry, uh, it, it's very important to have a good kind of ecosystem. Production companies or yachts like us, they need good suppliers because our customers, they expect from us a good quality and we can provide good quality if we have good suppliers. The quality, the functionality, the state of the art concepts, uh, so this is very important for us. And for sure, the, the, the huge number of products we need. You know, we, need a, we, we don't build two or three boats a year, we build a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, so we need suppliers who can handle this and handle also the aftermarket. So, this is for us very mandatory to have good partners to, to fulfill the, the, the customer's need. When it comes to these kinds of navigation support technology that help the pilot, the, the captain, the owner to feel safe, feel that they have mm -hmm. good situational awareness and uh, get the most out of their yacht, whether they're trying to push for speed or efficiency, you know, being able to have confidence that your line, you have the perfect tack, you have the perfect angle. When you're selecting that kind of technology, I guess you're working with the owner to understand how they're gonna be using the boat. Yeah. And you end up with some, some highly custom situations. So I guess you have a, uh, an expert owner. Yeah, we have our, for sure we use our network. So with the dealers, the dealers are the closest to our customers. Then they know what their customers want, they know what the customers expect, and then they also, their, their target group or their customer group because it changed a little bit over the last five to six years. We have a lot of people using a boat which are young into this industry and they, they need different kind of technology help. And it's, it's easy with B&G, right? Because the guys were explaining to me how a lot of their solutions that work for the very most competitive sailors and can be used in regattas yeah. on super demanding circumstances then have different modes where they display different data and work just as well for amateurs or people who are interested in learning and improving. Yeah. So I guess if you have a close relationship, it can be quite convenient not to have to go to a different family of products for each kind of client, but just exactly. tailoring the solutions from B&G to 
whether that person yeah. is an amateur or they need a lot of sensors on board, yeah. maybe they need an expansion. Yeah radar yeah and i think that this is very important for for us but also for the for the dealers that as you said one supplier one brand for a yard um, because at the end uh, it, it, it's hard to handle different brands different technologies uh, when it comes to the service and when you exp uh, imagine you have a, you're a dealer and you have uh, seven boats there with uh, seven different solutions that it's hard to, to maintain, to, to make the service, to be an expert, become an expert on that. Uh, so, and uh, that's also a reason uh, to, to, to choose a supplier, how broad they are in their portfolio. And as you said, BNG can do from, you know, entry level uh, uh, systems up to pro systems, you know, for pro sailors and, uh, but also for, you know, classical holiday user. I think this is the, the, the biggest challenge in, in our industry, so to say, the, the connectivity between all the systems you have on the boat. Our customers know their cars, they know everything works together, they know maybe their RVs, who mostly everything <laughs> works together, and their houses, but uh, at the end on the boat we have so many different suppliers, not, not everyone is talking to each other in, 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 in this direction, uh, but this must be the vision of every one of us in, in, on the view of our customers, to make this to, a, to bring it to a point where it's close to a good connectivity between every system, everything you have on board, it's you know seen on one display, for example. The seamless experience. Exactly, and uh, and, and sometimes we need to to think a little bit more open and uh, and, and, and bring everything together. So engines with uh, uh, air conditioning, with uh, everything we have in the boat, not, must be connected to each other.